Okay, you guys, so I just filmed, that's why I'm wearing the same thing. I just filmed um, my last video and we just got a letter, we just got a letter, we just got a letter, wonder who it's from. It's a letter from our friends. Just been watching some YouTube, doing some journaling, and now I'm about to do some Legos. And I do want to say one thing. People were like, why did you think this was the middle of the globe? Sometimes you do build the middle of something first. So I thought this was like the center of the globe, if that makes sense. Legos in the past have done that before. And hi, baby girl. And another question. Um People have noticed there's always extra pieces at the end of a Lego. It's because those are just extras in case you, look at her rub on it. Just in case you lose like a small little piece, you'll have an extra. Are you ready to do the next round? Yeah. So this is from two rounds and now we're about to do round number three. So we have a little voiceover moment. How I got into Legos, when I was a little girl, I remember I didn't have anything like this. Like, this was too expensive, too great, too grand. But I did have a neighbor friend who was a couple years younger than me. I was about eight years old, and he was six. I like guys! Oh my god! Woo! So I do want to say this globe is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like, so exciting. I thought it was going to be smaller. Kind of what I depict right here. Not going to lie. Love the bigger size. You know, it's an SSBBW globe. <laughs> so I love me some watermelon. Usually I get pre-cut watermelon, which I love. with this last piece i cut it in a way that like i could see people doing it at parties so it's like a simple way situation type deal where you just grab just like that i don't know i saw this technique on tiktok and i thought i want to try it but i didn't want to do it with all the watermelon but look at that fresh goodness and i'm gonna show you what rarity does so she's obsessed with me she's currently sitting on my lap and I'm giving her the pets, but watch what happens when I stop petting her. Watch her paw. Oh, mama, keep going. I never told you to stop. So this is just some little cat love. I know you guys love my animals, which means the world to me because I love them too. Look at her begging for more. She's so sweet. You guys have no idea how much I love this baby and how much I love Wasabi and Twinkie. They're my worlds. My worlds. But yeah, I just had to show this. I thought it was so freaking cute. Okay, if you guys hear noise because we're cooking some bacon I'm gonna, it's just like a low-key situation type deal hope the noise doesn't annoy anybody but so my id expired right and when your id expires you go get another id about a week ago i went to go do a new id moment and it already came in the mail i'm not gonna lie pretty quick we're always wondering how does it look okay like the id like what is it called not the standard id the one above that id it's where you can like travel and such I don't, I don't remember what it's called but like it matters all right first impressions wow i look better in this one i gotta say and i could definitely see a difference in weight loss which is super exciting even my signature has changed which is really interesting all right you guys i'm about to show you what i am making you need a plate we are going to use some of these wheat thins now i'm going to take egg salad Next step is some crispy bacon. Just a piece on each one. So 
so it is complete but i wanted to add a little scallion unfortunately i don't have any taste test Mhm. Mm that hits all the spots all the spots okay guys so i want to give you a little weight loss update during the time that i was bedridden due to my ankle uh, that i turned to food um daily for a few weeks um it was just i wanted to numb my anxiety and i felt helpless and i'm you know i suffer with binge eating so especially my whole life since i was a little girl that is what i did you know my parents would be screaming at each other and my dad would be hitting my mom in the other room and i would be turning to food a lot of people say talk to someone about that i do i i see a psychologist it's not something i always talk about but i do have an appointment with her tomorrow like the same shit different day you know what i'm saying okay let me fix my hair real quick yeah i was turning to food and i did end up gaining weight i did um i got back in the 490s i know once the pain was lessening once i noticed that i was healing and i started moving more my spirits um truly arisen they rose um when it came to the bin the binging aspect and i noticed during this whole lung era that i'm dealing with i'm not turning to food because i'm fearful of food <laughs> not being bed bound anymore and just that whole mentality being gone i am back on track i've been partially back on track i'm you guys you've been watching me for how long <laughs> thankfully from the whole bedridden era, I am losing the weight that I have gained. Uh, like I said, I got back in the 490s. It was devastating. Today, I weighed in at 481.6. So we're definitely not at the lowest that I was. But paying attention to calories while not actually counting calories. People have questioned me in the past, like, what does that mean? I can't stop paying attention to calories. There are times where I'm still, like, calorie obsessed, per se, while not counting calories. It's just, I can't help it. It comes natural to me over a decade, like a decade and a half of just like counting calories all the time. So that is what like my body and my intuition is just so used to. And it's been like a few weeks of getting back to like, okay, it's time to lose weight. You had your freaking pity party. I haven't binged in a week and a half. So I'm proud of that. And by not binging, I just naturally lose weight because binging is what like makes me gain weight and I retain a ton of water and stuff like that. So yeah, and I just the video. So again, for the video. video. So for dinner, I am making a homemade chicken and rice soup, I guess. I'm going to make this. I just hope that wifey likes it. I'm a little, I don't know, I get nervous when people try my cooking, but she has like everything that I've made. And yes, this is a mess because that is how I cook. I make a mess. She I should be. 